Hey guys, so welcome to the YouTube channel Let's Crack Neat PG, where you have the top educators, quality content, and you guys are assured a great learning experience. I'm your educator Chetanya Mittal, and uh, I hope you guys have downloaded the Unacademy Learning app. There are some exciting offers going on with my referral code Chetanya10, and you guys can utilize this referral code to take a subscription. At the end of this video, I'll be telling you more about the Unacademy program and what are the various batches and the offers that we are running. Okay, so we have an iconic subscription and we have a plus subscription and we have some great offers for both of them. So we have a 12 plus 2 on the plus subscription and also a 3 plus 1 offer. So let's first begin with today's topic and then at the end of today's video, I'll be telling you about all these offers and all about the Unacademy program. Okay, so next topic I want to talk to you about to you all is the radiological anatomy of the lower limb. Okay, so first thing. Try to understand that there is a difference between radiology and radiological anatomy of the lower limb. Okay, so we are not doing radiology. Okay, we are not going into the details of what are the various parameters to look for in a particular x ray or a radiograph, right? We are not going into the detailed imaging. We just want to identify the basic anatomical structures of the lower limb on a radiograph. Okay, so that is just a radiological anatomy of the lower limb and it's very similar. To visualizing a diagram of the bones of the lower limb and why is this important because first of all it will help you understand it when you do radiology second thing that it is a part of your vivas right it is a part of your vivas in your examinations right so they often ask you about this so the first thing to be able to do here is to identify that is it an ap view or is it a PA view, right? And mostly you'll know that depending on which region is being uh, taken for an X-ray. And uh, second thing that you must be able to identify is, is it uh, okay? It can also be a lateral view, right? There can be some other views that are possible. It may not have to be an AP or a PA always, right? And the second thing, what structure or the what what sort of a uh, what sort of an X-ray is it? Okay, is it a chest X-ray? Is it an abdominal X-ray? Is it a lower limb X-ray? Is it a hip joint X-ray? Is it an knee X-ray? Right? So we are going to go through some of the x-rays very quickly in a very concise manner and I'll tell you the important points. Okay, so let's begin. First x-ray uh, that we are going to do, right, so let's start with this one. And as you can see, I've put the background to black so so that it gives you a feel that you're doing radiology. So let's let's try to label this one first. Okay, so this, what do you think this is? What joint is being shown? This is, of course, the hip joint, right, that's being shown to you. And this is an AP view of the hip joint. Right, so I'll just quickly write everything for you. What do you think is being shown to you in this particular X-ray? So as you can see, the femur is particularly prominent. So these are all views for the femur. Both of these are femur. Okay. So femur me kya hota? There is a proximal. You can take a uh, radiograph at a proximal location, right? That is connected to the hip joint and at a distal location. So you can have uh, AP proximal or AP distal. So both of these are AP views. The only difference is one has been taken closer to the hip joint and one has been taken closer to the knee joints. So I'll also write this femur. Okay, right. And next, let's look at this one. Okay, so this one is the knee joint. This one is a knee joint. So knee joint, again, you can have a lot of views, right? But the, uh, so, and, and this knee is called as a knee non-trauma. That is a knee where there has been no injury. So this is basically an AP view of a non-traumatic uh, knee joint, right? So I'll just write knee AP. Okay, next, let's go to identify this one. What can you make out? So you're basically looking at the knee in a more sort of a close up. So this is called as the intercondylar view. This is called as the intercondylar view. D and I'll write intercondylar. Okay, I see view. Okay, next. So this is basically what? This is basically your, this is your foot, right? This is your what do you call is the foot and this is basically a uh, adult foot and it's a it's a dorso uh, uh, dorso palmar view right dp view kehte hai isko okay you are not using the word anterior posterior here so dp view that means dorso palmar right dorso palmar so this is i'll just quickly write it here this is the foot and let's let's see where we have space so i'll write it as a dp view okay so DP you can make out and lastly this is this is I just wanted to show you a little bit more detailed in the toes 
बिकॉज समटाइम्स बहुत कॉमनली टोज में ना हेयरलाइन फ्रैक्चर होता है सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू be able to appreciate the normal anatomy or the radiological anatomy of the toes because a lot of times what might happen is your relatives come up and show you beta ye x ray dekha zara right that might happen so let's let's try to understand a few things okay so let's identify what are the various things that are present and you can automatically compare everything with what you see in anatomy okay i don't have to do that for you okay so this sort of a foramen that you can see can you make this out this is going to be the obturator foramen okay this is the obturator forum and it's labeled here and niche here the place with which the help of with which you sit on a table or chair that's the ischial tuberosity okay ischial tuberosity so i'm just telling you the important important things right so this is the sacrum somewhere here that you can see that this is the backbone and this is the sacrum so there's a joint that is visible here this is the sacroiliac joint right then this is the ilium as you can make out so this is the crest of the ilium the ilium goes like this okay so another thing that you can maybe make out is the acetabulum okay so you can make out that's the acetabulum okay uh here this is the oh, this is the pelvis so you can probably not appreciate it very well but this is the greater sciatic notch okay so in the acetabulum you have the femur that is lodged so basically here you have the head of the femur okay that is lodged here and then you have the neck of the femur okay up here lies the greater trochanter up here lies the greater trochanter and below you have the lesser trochanter so this is the greater trochanter and this is the lesser trochanter in between them you have a uh, crest that is running okay and you will see the crest in the ap view and the ridge is on the other side okay so you will see the intertrochanteric crest here right and below the femur is continuous so that's how you break down a hip ap so these are the basic radiological points that you can note similarly for a femur okay I told you most of the things: femoral head, femoral neck, intertrochanteric crest, greater trochanter, lesser trochanter. So you should just be able to point out that if you are looking at a left leg AP view of the hip, okay, you should be able to identify these few things, right? Your examiner might ask you if your viva is going very well. The examiner might ask you in your anatomy viva, tell me which is the greater trochanter, okay? Tell me which is the lesser trochanter, okay? In between them, what is this line that you see? So this is based on your anatomy knowledge, and then the viva might go on to what are the attachments here. what are the attachments here right so that is how you have to understand this this is nothing but a distal view right so you can basically identify that the fever it is going to the uh, to the to the knee joint right and this is a knee this is the knee joint okay so first thing that you have to identify is right or left right or left so if i ask you if i ask you is this the right or the left okay you can probably read it's written below that this is the right one right so the fibula as you all might know which 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 side is it is it towards the medial side or is it towards the lateral side is the fibula the medial bone or the lateral bone right so as you can make out fibula is the lateral fibula is the lateral one so this is the lateral and this is the medial side okay and this is an ap view so now that should clear out a few things in your mind for you that how this image is being taken since it's an ap view just just try to imagine your right leg in this position with the lateral fibula on the outside right so you'll be able to understand how this view has been taken how the x ray was kept and how the plate was kept so in an ap view what is happening the x ray machine is here the film plate it's here right and the waves they're passing in this way and the person is standing here okay so that's how an ap view works okay so this is what you're going to be able to see right so if i try and help you understand what is happening the femur it's here the main bones first identify those tibia and fibula right so you identified the main bones now femur is here and this is the lateral side this is the lateral side so this is going to be the lateral epicondyle and similarly here you're going to have the medial epicondyle lateral epicondyle medial epicondyle okay then similarly tibial tibial condyle medial tibial condyle theek hai to lateral epicondyle medial epicondyle lateral femoral condyle tibial condyle and a lateral medial ka samajh aa raha hai based on which side this is and in between them here you have the intercondylar notch so those are the main things that you might be asked about hai na aur beech mein ek yahan pe ek eminence hota hai that is the intercondylar eminence so this is the more clear intercondylar view where you can make out that this is the intercondylar fossa and uh, on the front side sort of this 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 extra density that is here this is the patella okay uh, femoral condyle medial femoral and these are the tubercles of the intercondylar eminence okay not so important these are the main 
points that you are going to have to identify okay and you can probably be asked to identify the patella as well okay so if i quickly go over to the next one so this is basically sort of a view of the heel matlab niche wala part and we are basically trying to look at the tibia fibula right we are going to look uh, we are we are trying to look at the ankle joint we are trying to look at the tibia the fibula and how it articulates with the bones below so you can make out this is the medial side so now medial side this is the tibia this is the fibula okay and uh, wherever this is written l that means this is of the left side okay and r means it's of the right side so towards the medial side you have the medial malleolus here you have the lateral malleolus and the articulating bone here is going to be the talus that that's all you need to sort of remember no need to go into too much details of this particular one this one you should be knowing relatively well and you can make it out on the basis of basis of the normal appearance of the foot okay so interphalangeal joint kahan pe hoga which are the phalanges right which are the intermediate phalanges which are the metatarsal phalangeal joints which is the first second third fourth fifth metatarsal hai na so you should be able to identify 1 2 3 4 5 these are the metatarsals and here what is shown to you these are the phalanges these are the phalanges that are shown to you right and uh, apart from that after that here you have the cuneiforms so this is the most medial then intermediate and then that also medial intermediate lateral cuneiforms and along with that uh, here you will have the cuboid and the calcaneum and on this side here you have the navicular the talus and upper tibia fibula right that's how this is going to look so more emphasis on the toes here so i want you to be able to identify these metatarsals and in this particular x ray you can appreciate that the density is here slightly more and these are sesamoid bones so you might have heard that the first metatarsal it often has some sesamoid bones that are present here so these sesamoid bones are also visible in this particular radiogram so those are the basis or uh, basics of radiological anatomy and i hope you were able to understand a few things and maybe you will be able to point out the important structures in your vivas so thank you so much guys for watching right so after that i told you at the start that we have a lot of offers going on so the first offer here is on the iconic subscription where if you go for the 3 year plan you can get it for 58500 the 2 year plan is 50000 and the 1 year plan is 40000 only and only with my referral code chatanya10 please remember to use authentic plus referral codes and if you take the subscription you are not only getting access to unacademy but you are also going to get access to prep ladder this is the neat pg iconic subscription all right similarly you can also go ahead and take the plus subscription where you only get unacademy but there's a great offer there where you can avail a 3 plus 1 offer that is if you take the 3 month plan you are going to get 1 month free of cost and you can also get a 12 plus 2 offer in this if you take it for 1 year we are going to give you 2 months free of cost we have recently also reduced a 4 year subscription the logic behind that is like for first year mein you are going to start with your preparation for second third and at the end of the fourth year you have to give the next examination and as you know very recently the next examination it is in the pipeline of being confirmed we are still waiting an official uh, notification right so you have 4 years so for we have introduced a four year subscription keeping all of this in mind and it's very decently priced if you go for the plus subscription at 60000 and i would say go for the iconic subscription so 75000 and you get not only under academy but you are also getting prep ladder and here if you use my referral code chatanya10 you will get a further 10% discount on this and that is going to bring your price for the round all right we have amazing batches on under academy you started batches for your prof exams also not just neat pg if you want to prepare for your first prof second prof third prof right even for your final prof we have started with batches Besides that, we have started integrated clinical batches based on MCQs, dual educator sessions where we will have integrated sessions. For example, pathology, radiology, and other sessions where you will see that we are going to integrate the subjects, and that is again in accordance with the latest pattern of the next examination that is going to be there for you guys. For the NEET PG, we have a high yield revision batch which is recently started on 30th June, and uh, we have started a batch, uh, another batch for NEET PG on 30th of June. We have batches going on for FMG, INICT, next examination, and we have an MCQ question bank of over. Thirty-four thousand MCQs for you guys to practice. So what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and download the Unacademy Learning application and kickstart your preparation here, right? And if you do that, if you do that, you have another advantage that when you are taking the plus subscription, in the plus subscription, with the plus subscription, the advantage is you are not only getting access to all the offers, but we are going to give you live classroom courses, which will feel like you are just running a continuous batch. Regular testing in the form of weekly tests and special tests. You will get access to structured courses. unlimited access to live and recorded classes we have an ask a doubt feature and you get access to all these features with my plus referral code that is chatanya10
and that is just an academy plus and i would recommend you go for the iconic subscription where you are not only getting benefits of an academy plus but also for prep ladder where you get the recorded video lectures the updated question bank we have recently launched question bank 3.0 that is there in prep ladder and uh, you will also get handwritten notes here okay so this is the plus subscription that is everything that is there in an academy and this is the iconic subscription that means not just the best of an academy but also prep ladder okay so that is going to be included and uh, we've for the month of july we are having a med minds scholarship test which is on july 10th 10th of july it's going to be there at 8 pm on the an academy app and you have to use my invite code chatanya10 for this particular scholarship test and the topic here is slides from pathology so this is especially useful for those for students who are in the second year or beyond that and if you come first you will get a free of cost one year plus subscription theek hai if you come second to fourth there is a 75% scholarship for the 5th to 9th ranks there is a 50% scholarship and for the 10th to 19th ranks there is a 25% scholarship so you can take advantage of the scholarship test that is there and uh, we've launched a new feature for our plus users that is called as raise a hand so you can basically interact live in the class you can ask your doubts by raising your hand you can speak to the educators and you can clear your doubts much more effectively that is that is the best thing that is there right now in the plus subscription itna interactive no other application is going to give you such interactive learning with such quality educators okay so we have a plus course and an iconic course like i told you if you go for the four year plan and you apply my referral code chatanya10 you can get this in 54000 and if you go with the iconic subscription and again if you apply my referral code here the four year plan you can get it for 67500 so i think this is the best deal for all the students who are in the first year and if you go ahead with the three year plan for plus it is 45000 for iconic it is 58500 two year plan 36000 here and here it is 50000 and the one year plan you will get 2 months extra and that that will cost you 24750 here the one year plan is for 40500 if you want smaller plans you can try out plus and if you go ahead with the three month plan you will get one month free of cost and that is 11000 always here remember to use my referral code chatanya10 theek hai kabhi kabhi kya hota hai that you are not using a referral code that is an educator referral code and because of that some of these offers they are not applied so please always remember to use the right referral code and uh, that is also a way of telling me that you guys watched this video and that also inspired you to take a subscription so thank you so much guys for watching uh, my name is chatanya mithil and my plus referral code is chatanya10 please remember to hit the like button for this video do drop a comment as to what other videos you want and if you specifically like like some part of this video do subscribe to our youtube channel let's crack neat pg and hit the bell icon for notifications you can also subscribe to our telegram the telegram channel is t.me/anacademy neat pg chatanya or you can also subscribe to our telegram channel uh let's crack neat pg and that is there in the description itself also i would like to tell you about the bugs bounty program we have introduced this starting from the month of july so if you can point out any inappropriate content in the videos right be very careful any inappropriate content in the videos you can claim a prize right and that is there uh th there's a form in the description using which you can be doing this and that is there to ensure that the quality of your education is controlled by you so do keep that in mind while uh watching the videos so you can take advantage of this as well thank you so much guys